Hey, what up everybody? Dungeon Master here with my first review video. Uh, today I wanna to talk to you about a product that's new to me. Um, help if I had the product. Uh, it's this stuff here, uh, Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. Uh, I wanna see the different ways that this product can be applied to the hobby of terrain building and miniatures. So uh, stick around. Intro sequence. I want to start this video by saying that um, I am in no way affiliated with Plaid, uh, the makers of Mod Podge. This is not a paid review. Um, I'm choosing to do this because I'm totally sold on this product. And uh, I've not found many videos online about it as it relates to this hobby. Um, so few, in fact, that I'd be hard pressed to even tell you about some of them. With that being said, let's get right into the review. So what is Dimensional Magic? Uh, Mod Podge Dimensional Magic is marketed as a 3D effects liquid, uh, an alternative to epoxy in jewelry making and crafts. What I've seen it primarily used for is sealing graphics and adding 3D effects to necklaces and pendants. It's water soluble and acrylic. What this means is uh, I can easily mix it with craft paint to color it, or if I don't want to use craft paint, it will dry crystal clear. You can also layer it on top of itself if for some reason it doesn't cure flat, which I have not yet had happen. It also has one hell of a surface tension. This stuff will go right up to the edge of a piece and not run over unless you break the surface tension over the edge. But if you do, you should be aware it does have some pretty disastrous results. This stuff will not stop running once it does break its surface tension. It flows pretty well. So for my first test, as you can see here, I decided to create some basic trap tiles using a technique I first saw on the Black Magic Craft YouTube channel. I got my hands on some laminate countertop samples from my local Home Depot and cut them into three by three squares. I kept one flat and the other one I embellished with some spikes and a cut up Reaper Mini that I had. I then colored the dimensional magic using some Spanish olive craft paint from Michaels, and oh my god, the color was awesome. Like a, a putrid slime kind of color. This stuff takes a bit to cure, unlike the five minute epoxy, so that's something to keep in mind. But this means it has a very long working time, just somewhere around three hours before it starts to set up. That means you should keep it on a very flat surface while it sets up, uh, and not let it run anywhere. Try to keep your pieces flat. Uh, if you have warping in any of your pieces, you might have to address that before using this product because it will run off the edge if the, if the th thing you're laying it on isn't perfectly flat.
It remains tacky for about the next 21 to 22 hours, meaning you shouldn't touch it at all unless you want to tease the surface up for things like splashes or waves. This is something I did not test for this video, but I'm certain it'll work because I accidentally stuck my finger in one of the pieces and it did not go well. The applications for this are many and varied. Uh, since you can layer it, you can use it to fill small pools on models or use it on miniature bases. Like I said, it takes color very well. It also flows really well when pouring. I had a much harder time with the epoxy when pouring it. Two-part epoxy requires you to mix it. With this, you don't have to. And the fine applicator tip means you can get it into some pretty tricky spots. For this project, I mixed the Dimensional Magic in a cup for my color, but if you wanted to, you could empty some into another container and pre-mix it uh, to make use of the applicator tip. Uh, it's also a real bargain. At around $7 per bottle, you get about twice as much as you do in a tube of the two-part epoxy. Um, and if you get it from Michaels and you're a rewards member, which I don't know why you're not, it's you just sign up with your email, you often get up to 40% off a single item in your purchase depending on the day or the week's offer. I remember after Christmas, they were the day after Christmas, they were giving a, pretty much a 50% discount on any one item in the store. All of that being said, if you still need a project done in a hurry, uh, I still recommend you use the five minute epoxy. It's reliable, it's fast curing, it takes paint well, and it's been around a lot longer. If you're comfortable using that for a quick project, by all means stick with that. But this, for the majority of my projects from now on, if I need water effects or any kind of liquid effect, I'm gonna be using this. It's simpler, It's it makes much more sense from a cost standpoint because of the amount you get and because of all of the other positives listed above. The, the fact that it takes paint really well, the fact that it flows really well, that it has the precision applicator tip, all of those things, is, they're standouts to me. If you'd like to purchase the product online, I, I'm providing an Amazon affiliate link in the description below for your shopping convenience. Uh, you click the link, you buy the product, and I get a small percentage of the, the sale from Amazon at no uh, penalty to you. And if you'd like to further support the channel, consider becoming one of my minions over on Patreon where I share out all kinds of stuff. Everything from behind the scenes footage to uh, you know photos and stuff you know not available anywhere else. I, I try to keep up with uh, regular posts over there, stuff specific to my patrons to make them you know um, happy with becoming a, a member of this channel. You also get your name listed below here in the credits section every month for as long as you're a subscriber. And if you found my content useful, hit the like button below and hit the subscribe button. Uh, also leave a comment uh, telling me what kind of cool craft stuff you found whose purpose you turned toward terrain building and miniature painting. This is not designed at all for what we do, but it works so well for water effects. Um, I wish I had had this when I did my uh, when I did my well or my fountain. I think they would have come out a little bit better. But um, I just I randomly saw this on the on the shelf at Michael's and picked it up. And man, it was worth it. So uh, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me make more of these videos, leave a comment below. Uh, I'd like to do more product reviews. I, this was this was really interesting for me. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you next time.